Are you an agent who's freaking out about iBuyers like Opendoor and Zillow coming into your market and taking your market share, taking away sellers? Well, you shouldn't as long as you have the right tools available to you. Uh, but you have to know about them, all right? So there's a lot of agents. I'd say most agents out there are freaking out because they're worried about Zillow and Opendoor and Offerpad and whoever the hell else who's just, they're buying homes directly, that they're cutting agents out. But there are agents who are actually using iBuyers to get more listings, but they have to do it the right way. So today we're talking with Kayla Leos, the founder, the CEO of Zudelio, who has a very interesting platform that actually gives the power back to realtors. It, it gives realtors the ability to use Opendoor and Zillow to actually win listings when presented in the right way. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we are here with Kayla Leos from Zudelio. Uh, Kayla, we go back a long time. I think we met on Snapchat, what, five, six years ago? Is that right? That is so right. I yeah. followed you early on in the Snapchat days and was just always a huge fan of you, Dustin. So thanks for having me on today. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Um, you know, I've, I've been watching what you and your husband, Jason, have been doing for a while, you know, with running your brokerage. And then recently I started seeing more about Zudelio and that it had, it was a, a tool this, this is my point of view on what Zudelio is. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I saw it as a tool to help agents combat this iBuyer option that's out there now and, and use it to help the agent and help consumers. Um, and I'm like, well, this is really cool. It's a, it's a marketing tool for agents and you know, it, it helps them actually use the iBuying concept instead of being um, a competitor of it. And, and so I, I wanted to hear from you directly um, on, you know, how it works, why agents should use it, you know, all that stuff. Because I, I, Inman just wrote an article about it, I believe, didn't they? A review? Yeah, they did. Yeah. It's pretty we cool. A, we did, it was cool. We had a really cool tech review come out on Zudelio and there have been a few articles on Inman about it. And yeah, we're really excited. And I think you categorized it correctly. It is a tool. It's a tool to kind of solve the iBuyer problem for realtors. Mm. And so here's kind of the journey and, and how it happens. So awesome. you're absolutely right. I've been in residential real estate for many, many years. My husband and I own a brokerage in Gilbert, Arizona. It's called JK Realty. And a few years back, we were growing our brokerage and recruiting hot and heavy. And I think I tell the story of how I recruited like 225 agents in like two years. And we were just, man, and, and, you know, just recruiting and, and, you know, gaining market share, gaining agent share, and just really loving life, having a great life. But what we saw happening is here in our market, we're in Phoenix and the Phoenix market open door arrived in about 2014. Mm -hmm. And when open door arrived, Realtors really were like, oh, that's never going to work. People are never going to accept these offers. They're low. They're terrible. Nobody's going to do that. Well, here's how that played out. Now iBuyers in our market share probably have about 6 to 7% easy. Um, we were ground zero for open door. And then, of course, OfferPad started here. Zillow Offers piloted their Zillow Offers program here in Phoenix. And so we kind of see everything first and, and before the rest of the country. And so we started seeing sellers accepting these cash offers, even though they were low, even though they could list their home on the open market and sell in a, in a matter of now minutes, they were still choosing this easy option. And so the problem that we solved was, you know, if you're a seller and you're considering an offer from open door, well, you may not know that offer pads going to give you an offer as well. And Zillow might give you an offer. And there could be three to five other buyers out there that are willing to give you an offer that might be better than the one you have at hand. And so what we did is we decided we're going to create a website, if you will, where a seller can go on and they can type in their home address and it will connect them automatically to all of the offers and other selling solutions that are available to them. That way the seller can see, hey, here's what all of my offers are alongside what an agent could sell the home for on the open market. And so that was how the concept originally started. 
and what led to the creation of Zoodelio. So Zoodelio is a seller lead generation platform first and foremost. Um, it just generates the highest quality seller leads we have ever seen. It is now deployed across 47 states across the United States, uh, and we're connecting all of these sellers to various cash offers and selling solutions. So one of the, the most exciting offers that we have right now, it's a, a sell and a lease back. A seller can sell their home. They can lease their home back on a month to month basis for up to 12 months. Um, it's a really cool program. So it solves a lot of problems in the marketplace. And so what's really neat is a, an agent can subscribe to Zudelio and with their Zudelio site, they can provide that to their sellers. They can deploy it against their current database and they're able to connect their sellers automatically with these offers. So there's nothing else additional that the agent needs to do uh, in order to obtain these offers. So we're kind of bridging the gap between agents and then these iBuyers and then also these other power buyers that exist in our marketplace. And, you know, a lot of us just go like, whoa, wait, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. It's kind of confusing. And so what we're doing is we're stepping in to streamline that process for realtors so that we can maintain um, the realtor being at the heart of the real estate transaction where we believe they should be. When I, so what I think of is what kayak did with travel where they because there's so many travel sites right there's an ungodly amount of travel sites and kayaks like well shit why don't we just put them all together so you go to one site and get all of them it sounds like you've built something similar for all the different i buying programs out there right Exactly, exactly. It's exactly like a kayak or a progressive. Mm. Um, and I think the, you know, the tech speak on that is called an aggregation model. So we go out and we aggregate all of the different offers and options for home sellers. Very cool. Uh, yeah. This came across my radar when um, a few of the agents on my team, I think they went to an event that you were speaking at with Zillow Killer maybe. And, yeah, yeah. And they were like, hey, have you heard about the Zudelio thing? And I was like, it's like, kind of. And I'm like, oh, shit, the, Kayla and Jason are doing that. I was like, yes. So um, very interesting. And, you know, you being in Phoenix, obviously, it makes a lot of sense. We've talked about iBuying before on this show quite a few times. We've had Kev Kevin Kaufman on to talk about how he uses iBuyers to his advantage. Um, and I see this as is just such a cool way to get control back when you go sit down with a seller, especially in a market like Phoenix or, you know, the bigger markets that have Zillow offers that have open door that have offer pad and sellers are getting the advertisements in the mail. They're, they're getting the postcards. They're getting the, the pamphlets in the mail. They're seeing the TV commercials. They're getting all the banner ads. And so when you show up to a listing presentation, if you don't mention, if you don't talk about the, you know, the, the 500 pound elephant in the room, which is Zillow will pay me this much for my house. You're not a serious person. Like you, you, I think you lose credibility as a listing agent. So instead of it being like, well, you should list with me or go with those guys. D doesn't this kind of bridge the gap where you're, the agent doesn't really care that much anymore if they list or if the agent guides them to open door? Cause isn't there a referral fee paid or, you know, how does that work? Exactly, exactly. So kind of our, our thesis is that the, the realtor should really be unbiased in, in this process, right? Because, you know, if, if you have a, a seller that's considering one of these options and you're able to go get the offers for them, uh, you know, you don't really care if, if they want to take an instant offer or, you know, they want to list their home on the market. You're, you're paid kind of um, proportionally to the amount of work that you're going to do, right? So mm. an iBuyer may pay you a referral fee uh, and it may or may not be what you're used to making on a list. Listing, you can always, you know, add an additional fee. And we see agents doing that throughout the country as well. Um, currently, how the, the, I call them the retail iBuyers, the Open Door and the Offer Pad and the Zillow, what their pay structure is, is, you know, Open Door will pay a 1% referral fee. Uh, Offer Pad right now is, is actually paying the most. They're paying a 3% referral fee. And currently, wow. Zillow Offers isn't doing anything. However, uh, you can leverage all of these offers against each other and, and really truly get the best price for your seller. So it gets kind of fun and it's kind of exciting and, and you can, you know, you have all of these other 
options as well. Like we connect our, our, um, our agents to become a cash buyer program. So they're able to kind of use these programs that allow their client to go out and compete with the power of cash. Uh, we also have some flip your own home programs. So there's one right now that's really cool. It's called Curbio. It allows mm -hmm. sellers to flip their own home without accessing or using any of their equity or their own money. Um, and so there's there's a, a lot of other cool options and offers. We like to think of it as your seller gets this offer dashboard. And it's kind of like that grocery store shelf of all of the different offers and options and, and ways to kind of do business. Because like you mentioned, these iBuyers and the power buyers are spending millions of dollars to really change consumer behavior. And so we're getting the, you know, I, what I'm hearing on a daily basis from our users across the country is, you know, I, I walk into the listing appointment and the Redfin offer is sitting on the table, or I get a text message that says, Hey, what do you think about the open door offer? I just got it's X amount. And it seems like it's really good. What do you think? I mean, so what we know is, is that agents are already getting a lot of iBuyer questions mm -hmm. asked of them by their sellers. And so our, our thesis is, is like, don't run from it, like join it. In fact, talk about it. If you're the agent that's out there talking about how you can work with them and these solutions, they're going to go to you first. You're, you're, you have that personal relationship with them. If they're watching your content, if they're engaged with you on social media. And so if you can talk about these things first, then what will happen is, is they will naturally seek you out as the advisor to guide them through this process. You you know, one of the interesting things is, you know, iBuyers, you know, there's, there's a lot of debate on how much market share they're going to have in the future. Um, there's a lot of debate on whether or not they will last in a down market. You know, I look at the tappable equity of United States homeowners that have mortgages right now. It sits at about $9.1 trillion. It's insane amount of tappable equity, about an average of 173000 per mortgage holder in the U.S. So we have a record amount of tappable equity. The market would have to tank severely in order to put people in a position where maybe these iBuyer offers wouldn't be attractive. My kind of thesis is, is when the market turns a little bit, people may go to these iBuyers even more because of the certainty that they deliver, like as in, this is what you can get for your house today right now. And so time will tell how that all plays out. But I think the takeaway as a realtor is just to be empowered and to be able to have these offers and options that you can share with your clients so that you're, you're not leaving anything on the table, right? You're just, you're giving them all of their offers and options and not saying like, Hey, the only thing I can do for you is sell your house on the open market. Cause what we're learning is, is people don't want to do that anymore. There was some really interesting data that came out from thousand watt and, and the data suggests that 77% of homeowners would be willing to give up five to 11% of their equity in order to have a seamless, easy, non-traditional real estate sale. Damn. And so this, yeah, this in this data. And if you, if you'd like this report, email me, I'm happy to give it to you. My email address is Kayla, K-A-L-A at zoodelio.com. Happy to send you this report. It's chock full of a lot of great um, insights on consumer behavior and what sellers think about iBuyers, what they think about selling their home. Um, what are their number one concerns? And what we're finding is, is that Sellers don't like the idea of having strangers roaming through their halls. They don't like the idea of open houses. They want to sell their home quickly and within a specified time frame. And so these iBuyer options can kind of check all of those boxes. Uh, and, you know, if you have those offers and options for them, you know, they're definitely going to see you um, in, a, in a higher positioning over the masses of realtors that you're trying to separate yourself from. Yes. So I've been hearing a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been hearing a lot of agents around the country that have been saying that Zillow is paying ungodly amounts for homes right now that like the realtor will go do their, their, their comps and they're like, okay, it's worth 350 and Zillow's like, we'll pay 390. And how do you, you can't really compete with that. Right. Um, now, if you do show up to a listing presentation and like you said, you're just like every other realtor and you're like option A. I'll list your house. There is no option B. You, you, I think those agents lose credibility every day that goes by 
as iBuyers become more accepted and understood and known about in the marketplace, because even if the seller doesn't bring it up to you, they're going to be like, mm, I wonder what OfferPad will get me. I wonder what Zillow will get me. So if you said, list with me and I'll get you top dollar for three fifty, dollars then they go on Zillow's website and Zillow will offer to pay three ninety. dollars you have no credibility anymore. You're done. You're done. And so I just don't think that it's reasonable anymore as an agent to operate like that. You have to show up to listings with options. Maybe listing with you is the best option. And it, it most of the time it is, but most doesn't mean all. And, and we can't keep treating it like it does mean all. Um, like it blows my mind that people would be willing to give up five to 11% of their equity for, um, for convenience and, and ease and just, you know, streamline process. But it also doesn't surprise me either because that's a huge pain in the ass for people. So, sure. um, yeah, sure. Uh, let's, let's speak a little bit to that. The Zillow offer is just astronomically high and, you know, the agents like, I, I couldn't get you that on the open market. That's, that's an amazing offer. Take it. So let's kind of talk a little bit about that because we see that as well. Uh, we are seeing that as kind of a temporary side effect of, you know, hey, Zillow has their investors and their shareholders to report to. They mm -hmm. completely pivoted their business model. If they don't continue acquiring properties and if they have a decrease in acquisitions, it is not going to be good for Zillow, right? Same with Open Door. Uh, you know, Open Door just went public, I believe, December of last year. Um, OfferPad just went public last Thursday via Spencer Raskoff Special um, Purpose Acquisition Company. And and what we know is, is that all of these companies are going to be very aggressive with their offerings because they need to continue taking down homes. So we look at the aggressiveness of the offers as a very temporary um, side effect. And we also, you know, note a couple other things. One other thing we know is if you see that, you know, you, you go to that listing appointment and that seller has that Zillow offer and you're like, they should take this. It's amazing. I don't, I couldn't get them this on the open market. Track that property because what we're also finding is that they're not losing they're not losing. And then they're not losing often is what I should say. And so, you know, a lot of times we, we also believe that the data that these companies have is, is better. See, so what we do is when we go in and we comp a property, we're looking at historical information and we're right. saying based on history, here's what we think we can sell your home for. What Zillow, Open Door, OfferPad are able to do is they're able to take all of the data that they're you know, amassing and they're able to run a lot of predictions on not just historic, but future. And they're able to say, you know, three months from now when they know on average, it takes three to six months for someone to even accept that offer. So there's that time delay between the offer being made and the offer being accepted. And because of that time delay and because of home price appreciation, what we're finding is, is that many times these iBuyers are not really losing. And so track those circumstances so that when that happens, you can share with your seller a story of, you know, Hey, I was on a listing appointment six months ago and I heard the same thing. The Zillow offer was amazing. Here's the property. Here's, you know, here's what Zillow acquired it for. Look what they sold it for. Um, and, you know, you can really highlight that. So it's kind of like one, one thing I wanted to note on that. Uh, another thing that what the top teams and the really high performing real estate agents are doing is they're creating an iBuyer program. Yes. And they're talking about this iBuyer program. And when they're out there and they're communicating this iBuyer program, you know, they're attaching a fee to it. You know, the fee for my services to guide you through the iBuyer offering is $750. If you accept an iBuyer offer, that's all you'll pay me. If you choose not to accept the iBuyer offer and we list your home on the MLS, I'll credit that back against my listing fee. And so be thinking through how you can have these conversations. You know, if you're a content creator like you, Dustin, right? I would really recommend that agents would be creating content um, around these topics so that when these conversations come up, when the seller's thinking about these things in their mind, they remember, oh, Kayla can help me with this. It's a reasonable fee. I'm going to go to her. She works with all of them, um, that sort of thing. So it's something else that we like to kind of highlight that realtors can do to just maintain our positioning in the market and really be that advisor for sellers. Yes. The, the advisor for sellers is, is key. And you're right. I, there's a lot of solo agents, teams, brokerages that are like, well, we want to play this game too. 
and they just have investors that will buy homes. And there you go. There's an iBuyer program. Like, iBuyers are not this special, unique thing. It's just they have really good marketing and very deep pockets. There's, there's no difference from Open Door and the we, we Buy Ugly Houses sign, except for a huge marketing department and a huge budget. But that, I mean, that makes a big difference, of course, but everyone can do it too. And did I hear that you guys, like, can you, can you add or customize the iBuyer programs that show up on your platform? Yeah, absolutely. You brought up a great point, a great point, right? Like we buy ugly houses, like they've been an iBuyer for, for years. Right. I think the, the difference is, is that what Open Door and OfferPad and Zillow have done is they've positioned this as something that's really a good option for, for anybody. And I think that when we think of the We Buy Ugly Houses, obviously we think about homes that are in distress and maybe need a lot of repairs um, or maybe the seller is in a really terrible situation and just needs money really fast. And so kind of a lot of negative connotation associated to that, whereas the iBuyers have came in with this real positive spin uh, on, hey, this is for everybody. So I definitely agree with you there. And then absolutely, if you are a realtor and you have an investor or you are investing in real estate, like that's one of the biggest things that I think, you know, as a realtor, every listing appointment we go on, we need to be asking ourselves, should I buy this home? Mm. Right. Should I add this into my portfolio of homes? And so that should be a question you're asking yourself. Or if you're working with an investor, um, your investor will love you because you are going to give them opportunities to make offers on home. And so with Zudelio, you can customize absolutely. If you want to work with your pool of investors, if you want to make that offer yourself, you can do all of that from within your agent dashboard. You can make all of those offers right from within your dashboard. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so when you guys started this, like, did you, I'm curious about how you first came up with the idea. Was it something that your agents at your brokerage needed, or did you just say like, Hmm, someone should do this. Like how did, how did you guys first get started with building this? Well, that's like a, I'll, I'll be, I'll be trying to be brief. Uh, okay. Kind of a, a bit of a backstory, but sure, uh, sure. a couple of our agents at the time, Elliot and Keith, who are the, also the founding members of Zudelio, um, they were here, they were sharing with us a, a way that they were out there prospecting and they were crushing it by, you know, telling sellers, Hey, I can get you the cash offers from all of the sites. Would you be interested in seeing them? And of course, sellers are like, absolutely. Let me see the offers. And so our first go at this, we, we created a company it was called offer Vana. And what we did is it was just, um, it was in-house. We were here at JK Realty and we ran it as a team alongside Keith and Elliot. And we were prospecting hot and heavy with Offer Vana, crushing it. Um, I have a webinar where I share, you know, how we made $60,000 in 60 days using our Offer Vana website. And then we got sued by OfferPad, believe it or not, for using the word offer in our name. Uh, it was an intellectual property lawsuit, extremely expensive. I'm super feisty, Dustin. I fought this lawsuit. And then yep. about six figures in, we were going, you know what? There's they, 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 OfferPad has deep pockets. We showed up to a settlement conference and I think the nail in the coffin was OfferPad showed up with six attorneys. And we're like, all right. So apparently we can't use the word offer in our name. Mm -hmm. We had, we had to uh, give up the company name. And at that moment in time, I think it was looking back. One of the best quotes I love from Steve jobs is he says, you can't connect the dots looking forward. So at the time, you know, we didn't know, we didn't see it. We were just pissed and upset and deflated and, but Looking back, it is what made us pivot and take the approach of, okay, you know what, we're going to create the offer on a tool um, for realtors across the US and we're going to empower realtors to compete because like you mentioned, we can all come up with an iBuyer program. It's nothing new, nothing special. Right. Kind of the, the missing kind of piece to that was the technology. And so that is why we created Zoodelio. So we could just empower realtors across the country to have a solution to the iBuyer um, problem. That's cool. Um, it, it's unique. I mean, you know, that's, I reached out to you guys. This is not some paid endorsement thing. Like I'm genuinely curious because uh, some of my agents are like, Hey, this, looks awesome. And I looked at it, I'm like, yep, pretty awesome. Because iBuyers aren't going away. It, Like you said, there's um, 
something changed, you know, with open door where they just changed the messaging around what they do, what they're buying homes and then reselling them for a profit. Sometimes they hold them in, as rentals and you know, there's other things they can do, but ultimately that's what they're doing. It's, it's not a super unique thing, but the messaging that reaches a consumer is that it's this new thing that's convenient. It's fast, it's easy. And, uh, and so if we as real estate pros don't take it seriously and remove our heads from our asses, we're done. And there's far too many agents that have their heads in their ass. Sucks for them. Good for you if you're listening because you, you can actually compete. So it just seems like a cool tool. Um, but how long, how long have you guys been doing it for? Like, has it been like a yeah. year? Great question. So no, not even. So we, okay. Udelio software was deployed in January. So it took us about mm. all last year to uh, develop the software. It was kind of an intense process, but we did it right. We did it right from the get-go. So we were really excited about that. And Matthew Weber, uh, I believe is one of the agents on your team out of yep. Georgia, yep. Dunwoody, Georgia, I believe. And, uh, great guy. You, you got some great agents on your team, Dustin, but yeah, he's one of the agents that we connected with when we were in Atlanta, we met, uh, we did this conference with the Zillow killer and met Matthew and, um, yeah, you know, he had shared with us that several of his clients have gone the Zillow offer route and, and, you know, he's relatively newer to the industry, he said. And so, you know, for him, he's like, this is great. It worked out great. It accomplished their goal. He was able to help them. He was able to help them get their new house. And, you know, talking about having your head in your ass, like that guy does not like that guy sees the, the bigger picture and he sees that, you know, Hey, we operate out of the space of abundance. So you're doing some good things with your team and your leadership, but, but yeah, there are a lot of agents that kind of are resistant to this. And, and I get it, especially for those of us like me that have been around for 18 years and we kind of see the market share slowly erode away to these iBuyers. I mean, everybody was kind of upset with Zillow and how they pivoted and, you know, and now we know they're being kind of investigated for the potential acquisition of showing time, which is interesting see how that plays mm -hmm. out. But, you know, I think that ultimately their goal, all of these companies' goals is to, you know, replace the realtor, uh, have a W-2 model because it's extremely efficient. And I, and I get it. And, and that's kind of all, always one of the questions that comes up when we work with realtors is how can we increase the per agent productivity? Um, we know that by and large, you know, the top portion of realtors sell the majority of the real estate. I think uh, Tom Ferry has some stats that he did and, you know, massive research and, and shows that, you know, most of the real estate, 91% of the real estate is sold by like the, the top couple percent of realtors nationwide. Yeah, and so yeah. increasing agent productivity is always something that, that we're looking at. And I think that these iBuyers, you know, they, they know that if they can run a W2 model, they can really have awesome per agent productivity. But, you know, for you and I, when we hear that, it's, it's, it's no bueno because, you know, a W2 model, I believe, um, just goes against the very core of who we are as realtors with our entrepreneurial spirits and our optimism and our passion. And so I really believe that having a solution like Zudelio is a way for us as realtors to band together and say, you know what, we can offer these options and offers as well. And, you know, here's the thing, Dustin, like we have some cool offers as well that, that allow the seller to capitalize on the upside on the open market. So like, hey, you wanna take an iBuyer offer, great. Here's one where if the home sells for more on the open market, we're gonna give you back all of that money. And so we've got some really cool offers and options um, that just allow us to compete at a much higher level. And I think that ultimately at the end of the day, our goal is to get ourselves in more real estate conversations and higher level real estate conversations. I love it. So before we go to the rapid fire questions, I, um, a question that just popped into my, into my mind, uh, realtors, can't, if you're showing up at a listing presentation and you say, Hey, here's what I can do listing it. Here's open door. Here's blah, blah, blah. Pick which, whichever one's best. Don't you, if you're going to get a referral fee from one of those companies that's offering one, don't you have to do it a certain way or, or you have to be the one who's representing the client at the time they submit the 
um, the request for the offer or, you know, what, what do agents need to know if this is brand new to them? Yeah. What agents need to know is that you need to solicit the offer on behalf of your seller. Mm. So if you walk into the listing appointment and they already got the Zillow offer, then you know, well, here's the thing. Zillow's not paying a refill, referral fee anyway, but let's say they already got the Zillow offer. That's okay. I can go get you two to five other offers on your home and then let's compare them. Let's see which one is the best. And so I think that then the agent can go, if they use Zudelio, they can get the offers that we provide. If they're not using Zudelio, they can go to these iBuyers as well themselves directly um, and they can request that offer. So it all comes down to soliciting the offer on behalf of your seller. And then there are some certain little stipulations that each of the iBuyers have. So for instance, like OfferPad, uh, the home can't have been on the market, um, I think for the past like 60 days or something like that. So there's a little caveat. It's all on their website though. So you can go and check it out. But I think that the takeaway is, is you got to do it on behalf of your seller. Great advice. Great advice. Okay. And, and that makes sense too. You know, you can't just come in, you know, six weeks after the fact and be like, Hey, I'm representing this client. Pay me. You know, they're not stupid. Obviously they wouldn't right. be. It's yeah. Just like a new build. That's, that's yes, kind of yes. how we look at it. It's kind of like a new build. Yes. Th that makes sense. So you're right. Um, you know, this was before Zudelio existed, but I solicited offers from open door and offer pad from, um, for a couple sellers and, you know, fairly easy. It just, but it's time consuming. So, um, I, what I love about what you guys have built, one of the things I love about what you've built is it's the easy button. It's just, it streamlines so much. And if you've been listening to this podcast at all lately, you know, I have a huge bug up my ass about um, saving time. You know, like how can you, how can you save time so you can focus your time on income producing activities and outsource all the other bullshit? Well, sometimes getting a platform or a tool that can just streamline a bunch of stuff that would take you an hour but it takes you five minutes instead. That's the same thing as hiring a transaction coordinator. Same concept. It's smart. I see this as one of those tools. There's other tools out there, um, not necessarily with iBuyers, but um, within the industry that save you a lot of time and maybe it costs you a little bit per month or whatever. So um, I just want to say congrats. This is really cool. I like it. Um, I know some of my agents are starting to use it and they're going to start marketing the fact that they have this, which... If I was a consumer, I'd be all about it. Like, wait, you can get me how many offers and ones that I have never even heard of? Yes, please. That's going to get you more listing presentations, right? Like, Kayla, do you have any data or feedback from your users on, you know, how using Zoodelio has helped their conversion with listings or, or acquisition of clients or anything like that? Yeah, actually, <clears throat> Interesting story. We just had, this is, this is how agents are losing to Zudelio users. And we, we actually have a lot of EXP agents that have Zudelio. So I know you're with EXP. So mm -hmm. we love our EXP agents. And in San Diego, we recently had a new subscriber. And the reason that they subscribed to Zudelio is because within a week, they went on two listing appointments. They both happen to be EXP agents. They both happened to mention that they had Zudelio. And the sellers chose the agents with Zudelio over the, the guy that just joined. And it, when he, second time it happened to him, he called us up. He talked with my partner, Elliot, and he said, I've just lost two listings and the name Zudelio came up in both of them. I need to get what you guys are getting, what, we, what you guys have. So he joined. And so now we're able to uh, help him and his clients. So yeah, we, we know that it's a game changer for lead generating. It's a no brainer. You mentioned it, Dustin, going and getting those offers. It's time consuming. Mm -hmm. If we feel that way as the realtor, the sellers are going to feel that way as well. Plus there are offers and options that they may not even be aware of that could be better for them. And so having this tool really helps you elevate those conversations and, and make sure that you are um, that, that perfect advisor for them to get them from point A to point B. So cool. So cool. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see how, how our agents are using it. Um, what you just mentioned makes all the sense in the world. You're, you're hearing from agents that are losing out to others that are providing more options and more flexibility and more convenience to sellers. Not surprising. That's why iBuyers are winning to begin with is because they're doing that. 
So I love that you're giving agents the upper hand back. Um, so cool. So let's do this. I want to give everybody a chance to hear where they can learn more about Zudelio and connect with you personally. First, let's do the rapid fire questions. Then we'll end with where they can find you, learn more about you and Zudelio and all that. Sound good? Awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. Cool. All right. So rapid fire, one or the other. You don't need to elaborate unless you want to. Um, just either or questions and, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. Face Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Instagram or LinkedIn? Instagram. Books or podcasts? Books. I'm a nerd. Love it. I've, I've converted myself into a nerd, actually. I still listen to Audible, but yeah, I like books. Uh, podcasts or audiobooks? Podcast. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Good call. Um, <laughs> I just ordered the iPhone 13. Kind of excited about that. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, Alexa or Google Home? Alexa. Good call. Burgers or pizza? Pizza. New York or LA? Mm. New York. I agree. Uh, NFL or NBA? NBA. Baseball or football? Football. Mountains or beach? Oh, seriously? Can I have both? You both. can. You can. All right. Podcast or vlog? Uh, podcast. YouTube or Facebook Live? Mm. YouTube. Rich Dad, Poor Dad or Millionaire Real Estate Agent? Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uber or Lyft? Uber. Gary V or Grant Cardone? Gary V. Also you the correct that. answer. Of you course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what's the most impactful book you've ever read or listened to? Other than the Bible, hmm. the motivational or the motivation manifesto by Brendan Burchard. Oh, really? Okay. I keep hearing about that lately. That's probably a sign I should, it's I should really read that good. book. It's really, really good. Yeah. So cool. And then Kayla, where can people connect with you? Where can they learn, you know, connect with you personally and then learn more about Zudelio? All right. You guys can connect with me on Instagram because I like it. It's at Kayla Leos. It's K-A-L-A-L-A-O-S. You can always check out Zudelio.com. We have a webinar on there where you can learn about how we made $60,000 in 60 days. It's kind of cool. It tells you a little bit more about Zudelio. And you can also email me. My email is Kayla, K-A-L-A -A, at Zudelio.com. Awesome. And we will have links to your social, your email address, your website in the show notes. So if, wherever you're listening to the podcast, click into the show notes. If you're watching on YouTube, go into the description. We'll have them all there for you. Kayla, thank you so much. It's been, it's been awesome talking to you again and reconnecting. I don't think I've seen you in person since Inman in San Francisco in 2017. Is that right? That is a long time ago. And I think so that long. is right. And you were always such a great sport and allowed me to like do little interviews of you and <laughs> make sound bites. I, Dustin, massive, massive love for you and all that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for being on the show. All right. Thanks so much, Dustin.